memories like the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories of the way we were. Scattered pictures of the smiles we left behind. Smiles we gave to one and no for the way we were na, 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 na. can it be that it was all so oh simple then or has time rewritten every line and if we had the chance to do it all again just tell me would we could we memories may be beautiful and yes just too damn painful to remember So we simply choose to forget. Ain't that right? All right, time's up. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, I never thought I'd say this because you know, if we're blessed enough, we all going to get old. So let me just say this. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you to this place I call the crazy house, the mental house. Um, <laughs> because out there is a mental house with no walls. Okay? You know, and... I, I think we spent a whole lot of damn time talking about Donald Trump and, you know, his age. Because, like I said, once Kamala got up there uh, and he was up there with Joe, he looks he looked good. So now that Kamala is up there, he looks pretty ratchet, okay? But let me say this. So I would be remiss if I didn't. There's another one out there. It's a brother. And he is too old, too. I mean, sometimes we can use the elderly for counsel because they have the necessary uh, skill. They've been patient. They've seen a lot. Okay? But at the same time, some of the stuff they say is totally off the damn chain. And so you got to check it. You got to eat the meat and throw away the bone. And mine is with Judge Joe Dan Brown. Okay, first of all, anybody pray, you know, he's he was good. And I'm not going to say that he has not done good things because then I would be lying. I liked how he, uh, his claim to fame being that he was the one that said the government was responsible for the killing of Martin Luther King Jr. And I think Dexter was alive at the time. So Judge Joe Brown was the uh, judge on that case. Also, I liked how he was very innovative when he was a lot younger. And that's why I said, you know, look, look at the contrast. When he was younger, he made a name for himself in Memphis for having uh, 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 people that were committed crime, he would... I guess either allow them to spend time in jail or get their butts out there and hold up a sign to show how ratchet they had been. So he shamed them. Public, it was like public shaming. Not like white folks uh, public hanging, but public shaming. 
And so when 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 I look at him now and I look at some of the bizarre stuff that he says and I'm looking at his mindset and I'm like, bruh, bruh, it's time for you to step aside. Now I know, you know, if I'm blessed enough, I'm gonna get there. You are too. But right now, I ain't there. And I listened to him on the Art of the Dialogue. Shout out to the brother that produces that content. Art of the Dialogue. Very good interviews. Kind of like how he does it. But Joe Brown had the nerve to be on there. And I want to say this to him. Honey, no. No, 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 no. You said a whole lot of egregious shit that sounds just like damn Donald Trump. And if I'm going to call Donald Trump out, which I know you wouldn't, because your criteria for whether a person is racist or not is if he had a black chick coming to a damn party or the red carpet. I mean, Thomas Jefferson was a pedophile, and he laid down with Sally Hemings and gave her I don't know how many babies. Uh, but then does that mean he wasn't a racist? He had slaves. By God, what the hell's wrong with you? And people that think like you, that means you're too old. You're too old to uh, uh, make any rational sense uh, with somebody in, you know, what, the next generation? Because the, what you said to me was very, very insulting. He came, uh, his homeboys would come in there. This was before he was president. Because the guy asked you, did, he, did you think he was racist? And you said no. Because he hang out with some uh, 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 black people. And they, everybody was shouting out when he stepped into the room. Oh, here come Donald. Uh, and you didn't know who he was, which I find it hard to believe. But you didn't hear. The Central Park Five told you who he was. And for you to sit here and know that his five, most people, you always talk about a, a two-parent household, right? So he had two parents. His father was a Klansman. So it's not so far remote to think that he wouldn't be a Klansman. For then shame on you. For shame on you. For thinking that he ain't racist. When you grow up in a house like that, you have to do the work to overcome that. Donald Trump ain't did no work. Okay? That's why they sent his ass away. Because they knew he already had problems. And now you, Joe Brown, it's time for you to step aside if that's the kind of mind. I mean, mentally, I, I see you coming on another. But to me, your opinion is an old uncle, uh, you know, y'all take it for what it's worth. Um, you, you, you're past your prime now. Only certain few things you can ask, answer, and be, uh, in my opinion, to be even thought of as a respectable, uh, open-minded judge, talking about the world trying to change in 1955 when they, all this kind of crazy stuff, uh, real men were taken back. What makes you a real man? Because you outside in public drunk, you're a public. You were a public drunkard. That was embarrassing. And if that was your criteria for being a a, a, a real man, well, brother, uh, uh, no, you need to be checked. That's what's wrong. And that's why you, if they did put you on TV after behind that, then everybody know. Everybody knows that, hey, they don't got no more content. So let's put this dude on there. Because... Your thought process now was a little outdated, and you sound like an old drunk. Be honest with you. I hope you're not still put, uh, participating in uh, that much drinking activity no more that you would be out in public embarrassing yourself that way, embarrassing the lady that you was with. Wasn't that your second wife? <laughs> okay. Um, what you say is sometimes borderline on um, uh, uh, masculine toxicity. Okay? Ain't nothing macho about it. Most men who are alpha men 
don't have to run around talking about just how alpha they are. They just be it. And the women that are involved with them know. Okay? So you don't get it. You think it's, um, and I'm sure you have that Napoleon complex. You think with those high heel boots on and drunk, being drunk in public and giving advice like you know it all makes you an alpha man. And I think it doesn't. I think that you are um, a person whose idea has gone, come and gone now. Okay, so now we putting you all out to, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't want to, age shame you because I'd be age shaming uh, somebody be age shaming me next but what I'm saying is we can put you out the pasture because the old gray mare ain't what she used to be okay so you go on out there and and do that kind of stuff come in for a commentary don't do an interview like that no more because I see you just a white a black version of Donald Trump but outdated uh, uh, I'm not going to say unsolicited because the guy asked you. So outdated, ill-prepared comments that sounds like someone that's stuck in another time warp uh, century. That's what you sounded like. Anyway, with that being said, Joe Brown, I had to, I had to give it to you. I had to. And I didn't appreciate you because I think you don't know the difference between uh, because somebody has some black people that they make fun of, like Diamond and Silk, so you don't think he racist. And it's a lot of uh, y'all have come across with that kind of ideology, which is really sad to me. It's real because you have sex with a black woman, you ain't you can't be racist. Man, you better go back and look at Thomas Jefferson and all the rest of them slave masters. Um. <laughs> Because that is just the most ill-prepared, ridiculous comment that anybody could make. And it made me mad. So I had to say something about it. So, you know, I want to know what y'all think. Am I wrong? If you like, go. It was the brother, the art of the dialogue. Listen to that interview with Joe Brown if you haven't heard it. And then, you know, leave a comment. Because I want to know what y'all think. And if you like what you hear, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you in the next video.